Okay. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Where are you? Are you at home? No. No. Where are you? My cousin. Cousins. Oh. How far is it from your house? Your cousins. Like, did you just walk? Mm. Run. Run. Did you run going there? Yes. Oh, so it's just, it's not far. About five minutes run? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're just neighbors. Okay. The house looks beautiful. <laughs> Are you going to sleep there? Sleep over? Yes. Oh. What did you do today now? I learned English with, with who? my cousin. Oh, and then? And can your cousin speak English? Yes. Oh, okay. How old is he? I don't know because I don't ask. Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So let's begin. So our lesson for today is test practice. And it's about reading. So if we happen to finish the reading test practice, we'll move to speaking. Okay. Because you're very smart. Yes. Okay. Let's go to reading. Okay. So in this lesson, we will see some words and their descriptions and we need to match them. And also about conversations on how to answer on everyday conversations. And there's a part where you need to fill in the correct answer. Okay, let's get it on. Okay. Part one. <laughs> Okay, look and read Use the correct words and write them on the lines. We have one example. I will read the first one. Okay, you can drink tea in this. It's a cup. Okay, let's cross out cup. Your turn. Please read number one. Number one, more people live here than in a village uh -huh. town. Yes, very good. Okay, number two, please. Number two, people like plumbing trees in the holidays. Mm -hmm. mm, mountain. Okay, would you please read this one one more time? Climbing. Climbing. Uh huh. It's like a no B sound. Climbing. Yes. Thanks. Now let's go to number three. Number three, you can buy lemonade in Z. Mm -hmm. mm, a bottle. Yes, a bottle. Number four. Number four, you find animals that like cows and sheep here. Mm, a, a farm. Yes. How about at the zoo? Can't we find cows and sheep at the zoo? Mm. 
many are those animals? Okay, those wild animals. But cows and sheep are farm animals. Okay, number five. Number five. You need to to go up to the second floor. Second floor. Stay. Okay. Stairs. Mm, stairs. Okay, number six. The big and brown and we are next day. The walk. The world. Wow, that's fast. We already finished part one. Let's go to number two. Part two. We need to look at the picture and tell it if the sentences are true or false. Yes or no. We've got two examples. Example number one. It's a sunny day, is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. A white cat is sitting on the wall. No. No. Can you change the sentence into a yes sentence? No. Example, what color is the cat? Black. Yes, now do it again and complete the sentence. A black cat black cat is keep going. Is sitting on the wall. Yes, now the sentence is a yes. Okay, let's do that later again for no's, okay? Please read number one. one. The teacher is pointing his dog. Uh-huh, is it? Yes. Yes. Yes, don't forget your S, dear. Sometimes you forget to say S with an S, okay? Yes. Number two. To a boy with red trousers is riding a bike. Yes. No. No. Can you change it into a yes sentence? I'll give you a clue. Red trousers. Yes. Uh huh. Red trousers. What is he wearing? He is wearing jeans. Okay. Jeans. Now, do it again. A boy. A boy with with, uh, with jeans is riding a bike. School. Yes, a bicycle. Okay. Now it's a yes. Number three, please. One of the children has got a best nut. Oh no! Has it? Yes. Yes, oh no! Number four. Number four. Three boys are playing with a ball. Mm -hmm. No. No! How many boys are playing? Two boys are playing with a ball. Very good. Number five. Number five. The girl under the trees is eating. Mm -hmm. Is it? No. No. What is she doing? She is drinking. Yes, she is. Number six, please. Number six. The girl not to the worst is wearing towels. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what color is her shirt? Black. Yes, okay. <laughs> now it's time for multiple choice. How to answer questions. Okay. I will read number one, or I will be Bill. You will be Pat, okay? Hello, Pat. Shall I carry your books? Yes, please. Why didn't you come for table tennis yesterday? Because I was tired. Yes, very good. Why 
because okay <laughs> number two do you want to come and see my new kite i want i want it oh hmm. do you want to want to come I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come? Uh huh. I've got to go home. Uh huh. What is your final answer? A, B, or C? A. A. Okay. I've got to go home. So I can't come to see your new kind. Can you come tomorrow then? No. Can you come tomorrow then? We're in number three, dear. <laughs> number three? Yes. Uh huh. Can you come tomorrow then? It's today. Mm -hmm. Can you? Can you? I I'll ask my mom. Yes. I will ask my mom if I can come. Okay. Number four. Have you got homework to do? Yes. A lot. Oh, a lot. Okay. Number five. Why are you stopping here? Why are you stopping I'm here? I'm not waiting. Pat, why are you stopping here in front of this house? It's in my house. Oh, here are your books then. Oh, yes. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Next, read the story. So can you see the choices on your left? I can see the trousers, the pair of trousers, coffee, party, door, left, street, teeth, cooked, and road. Road is the past tense of ride, road a bike, okay? So we've got one example. I will read the example. One day last week, Jim got up and went to work. He put on his trousers, shirt, and jacket very quietly because his family weren't awake. Your turn. Then he went to the bathroom, his or so, and shower. his party. Shower. Mm -hmm. To the bathroom. Had a shower and cleaned. What can? What else can Gee. we? Teeth. Okay. <laughs> Next. He went downstairs. He went downstairs to the kitchen and must a cup of coffee. Yes. Okay. And add some bread and cheese. Then he big he cups his bag and and brought to brought to walk on his bike. Very good. Yes, <laughs> he went to work. He was he was surprised surprised with a tea surprised, surprised because the. He was because riding a bike where? was very quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then? There were no cars or people there. Mm -hmm. Jim Gok as library bus when he chased to open Pride. the door. Pride. Pride. Try to open the door. 
Okay, keep going. The library, he couldn't a man with a dog stop to talk to him. It's Sunday, you know, you know. Oh. He said, <laughs> the library isn't open today. Jim loved, he loved. <laughs> oh, great. He, he says, I, ca I can go to back to bed. Yes, so he thought uh -huh, that the library is open, but it wasn't. Because what day was it? It was... Mm. What day? Very fine. Oh, I mean day. Was it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? One day last week. Aha! Uh -huh. What day? Can you be more specific? Monday. What day? Monday. Monday? It says the library. Saturday. Sunday. <laughs> it's Sunday. That's why the library isn't open it's sunday dear am i right is it sunday yes yes okay yes. next now choose the best name for the story can you pick the best name jim's big jim's must or mr jim makes mistake okay <laughs> now let's read a story and afterwards let's talk about it for a bit and then answer the questions okay it's about a parrot named pasta oh that's interesting okay please read the first paragraph mary's uncle Mary's uncle and aunt came to her house last week. They gave her a beautiful carrot. It was blue and yellow. Mary was very happy with her new cat. She called him Master Mary's aunt to her. Carrot is blue. Mary's uncle said, Carrot can talk. You have to teach Martha some words, Mary. Okay, thank you for reading. So tell me, has Mary got a pet? Has Mary got a pet? Yes, she has. What is it? What's her pet? Uh, rabbit. A rabbit? Yes. Is it a rabbit? Are you sure? <laughs> Dog? Uh huh. Try again. She's got a new pet. I think it's a bird. What kind of bird is it? It's a kind of bird. Parrot. Parrot. It was a parrot. What color is it? Yellow. And? It's blue. Yes, it's got two colors. What's its name? What's the name of the parrot? Carrot. Oh. Uh huh. Pasta. Pasta. Okay. The parrot's name is Pasta. What do parrots eat? Mm. Fruits. Yes. 
they eat fruit. What can parrots do? What can parrots do? Mm. Parrots this kid marries. Mm. Uh -huh. What can parrots do? They can. They can. They they can talk. Yes, they can. Parrots can talk. So, Mary's aunt told her to do what? To teach the parrot about what? Mm. Uh huh. Mary has to teach Pasta to do what? Mary had to teach Bertha some words. Yes, okay. Now let's see the examples. When did Mary's uncle and aunt went to see her? When? When? Last week, Mary's Last. uncle and aunt to see her. Yes, and they gave her what kind they of present? They gave her beautiful parrot. Yes, okay. Now let's answer more questions. Please read number one. Number one, the color of the parrot were Were blue and yellow. Yes. Okay. Do you want to for camera because it's not facing you? I'm sorry. Uh huh. It's facing the food, and I'm getting hungry. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh huh. I can see the food, and it's yummy. It looks yummy. Number two, please. Number two. And what's the name that Mary gave the parrot? Uh huh. Again, Mary gave the parrot. What's the name of the parrot? Pasta. Pasta. What's the name that Mary gave the parrot? Number three. Mary can teach her new pet some. Words. Words. Yes, parrots can talk. Okay, please read the next part of the story. First, Mary taught the parrots to say pasta and hello. Mm -hmm. Then he learned to say Mary, yes, no, and lunch. Ooh. The pasta learns more words. On Saturday, Mary's mother opened the living room, living room door and asked Mary and her younger brother, Fred, what do you want to eat for lunch? Fred thought, pasta. The parents was there with them and he thought, oh no, Fred oh. wants to eat me. And he flew outside. Okay. So what are what were the first words Mary taught the parrot? Mm. What were the first Asta words? and hello? Okay. And what else did he learn later? Later on? What else? Mary, yes, no, and lunch. Ooh, Mary, yes, no, and lunch. Okay. Who is Fred? Do you know Fred? Um, yes. Who is Fred? 
jungle Brazil. Of. Of. Uh huh. Fred is. Fred is. Mary. Okay, mm -hmm. hi, younger brother. Okay. Hi, younger brother. Uh -huh. And when it's time to eat for lunch, what does Fred want to eat? Mm. What does Fred Just want to eat me? Oh, what, what did Fred shout? I'm sorry, it's pasta. Okay. Fred wants to eat pasta. Is that pasta with noodles or pasta the parrot? Which one? Yes. Which one? Pasta the noodles or pasta the parrot? Which one does Fred want to eat? Parrot. Does Fred want to eat the parrot? <gasps> Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe that's what the parrot thought. Okay. The parrot thought that Fred wants to eat him. Okay. Okay. And so the parrot was scared and afraid. What did it do? What did the parrot do? Yes, okay, now re we're ready to continue number four. Please read number four. For the first two words, that's my talents, was master and hello. Yes, okay, number five. Number five, press. Who was Mary's um, younger brother? Yes, younger brother, okay. Master was afraid and flew out the window. Yes. Okay. Now let's continue the story. Please read it. The third paragraph. Mary and Fred ran out to the garden, but they couldn't see Pasta. Mm. Then their mother said, "Oh." He's here in the kitchen. The children went to see. Basta has a breath in his mouth and then he gave it to Mary's mother. She laughed, she laughed and said, I know you want to tell us something. Is, is it? Please, is this? This is first and not master. <laughs> the parrot jumped up and down. Yes, yes, he said. <laughs> okay. So he the oh uh, the parrot thought that they want to eat him, and so it flew away. Where did Mary and Fred go to find the parrot? Where did they go to look for the parrot? Mm, they ran out to the garden. Yes. Was it there? Was the parrot in the garden? Mm. Was it there in the garden? Us, they couldn't see pasta. Oh, so it wasn't there. Who found pasta? And where is the parrot? Where is pasta? Pasta the parrot. Mm. In the kitchen. Yes, who found pasta? Um, the children or mom? Who found pasta? 
But you didn't went to see. Oh, but who found it? Who found pasta? Yes. Who? The children? Mother. Mom. Yes. Mom or mother found pasta, the parrot, in the kitchen. Okay. And what has pasta got on its mouth? What's on its mouth? Grape? Yes, a grape. What did the what did pasta do with the grape? Pasta has a grape in his mouth and he gave it to Mary's mother. Oh what does pasta want to say? I know you want to tell us something. Uh -huh. What is it? Please. Mm -hmm. Please eat fruit. The parents jumped up and down. Yes, yes, he said. Okay, pasta wants to say, please eat fruit, not pasta. Because he thought they want to eat him. But no, they want to eat the noodles, the pasta noodles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so let's answer number seven, please. Number seven, the children couldn't find the parrots mm -hmm. in the garden. Yes, in the garden. And then number eight. Number eight, the mother found pasta in the kitchen. Yes. Okay. Number nine. Nine pasta with mm -hmm. it to Mary and fresh mom. Mm -hmm. What did pasta give to Mary? Mm, grape. Yes, grape. Okay. Number ten. Number ten. When pasta said. Mm, yes, yes, he jumped up and down. Okay, very good. It means you understand the story. Next, okay, choose the right words and write them on the line. We've got one example. My turn. Some big towns have zoos. Inside a zoo, you can find a lot of animals. Inside. Your turn. Please read number one. Mm, they often a horse how of nuts nuts mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a house for birds mm -hmm. and a big love where are we number them. one what's your answer number one dear mm, number one some mm -hmm. somehow for birds so uh, imagine you we were we are in a zoo and it says there is a house for snakes and then what other houses do they have in the zoo? Mm -hmm. So aside Some Aside from the ha for aside from the houses, house for snakes. Hmm. It says another. Okay. So this there is a house for snakes, another for birds, another for ducks, and for fish. So another house. Okay. Because this is about house. And then another house. So it's another. Okay. Number two, please. Number two. Some zoos are ghost 
a big. The next word is got. Which word should we have got? Have got. Yes, have got. Next. Mm, a big zero with elephants, lions, mm -hmm. or tiger. Mm -hmm. mm. Is next. he often a... Ah, what's your answer? Mm -hmm. okay. They often... There. There. Which one? One or two? Sub... One or two? One. Mm-hmm. They is two. Two. Okay, two. There is. Often a shop or play a playground. Mm -hmm. Two playground children children lies. Children lies going to the zoo yes. in the holidays. Uh -huh. Because they can see the animals right on the eleven elephants, elephant, or give food for the monkey. Uh huh. So when you give food mm -hmm, to you the monkey, give it to the monkeys. Yes. Okay. There you go. Oh, we're done. And let's move to speaking. Okay, so wait, let wait, wait for a sec. I'm going to open the lesson about speaking. Okay, there you go. Aha, uh -huh. so in this lesson, we will learn how to describe the differences, not the same, about the picture. Okay, this is the first part. My turn. In picture one, there are two pairs, but in picture two, there's just one. one. Your turn, find more differences. The best, in the one, the best is yellow, but in the two, the best is blue. Oh, I think it's the qu quilt, the quilt. The quilt is yellow and blue. Okay. What else? And in the one, mm -hmm. in the tables, on the best, mm, no. Empty. It means empty. nothing is in there. Uh -huh. The table is empty. Okay. But. But in Victor two, in on the there is there is one one glass of a glass? orange juice. Okay, <laughs> what else? <laughs> My turn. In picture one, the boy car is on the bed. But in picture two, the toy car is under the bed. Your turn. Say it once. Mm, I'm sorry. Mm. What else have on, you? A gun on the bed is sitting. Bus in picture two, the girl on the, the bed woman. is the woman is lying on the lead. bed. Uh -huh. Lying on the bed. Okay. Uh -huh. Have you found another difference? L E L I E. Uh -huh. Have you found another difference? What else? No. 
No. Can you see this one? Oh, look at that. The mm, so one is in picture one. Go going in the room mm -hmm. bus if you talk to the the man in going uh -huh. Okay, so maybe in picture one, the visitor, it means someone who visits, is a woman. But in picture two, it's a man. Okay, next. Okay, so these are some suggestions on how to find the differences. Okay, let's talk about food. What's your favorite food, Nam? I like meat. Meat. Um, how about how do you like your meat? What kind of meat do you like? Pork, chicken, beef. What do you like? I like chicken. Chicken. Fried or in soup? What kind of chicken? Roasted. Some mm -hmm. Okay. What do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat for breakfast? Mm, I eat. Mm -hmm. mm, I eat rice. Rice for breakfast. For breakfast, just rice. What else? Rice. Some rice. Oh, maybe the fried rice. You mean fried rice? Mm -hmm. It's got something like garlic and some meat on the rice. Yes. Okay. Where do you have lunch? I have lunch. Lunch. At home. At home. Okay. How about your favorite drink? What's your favorite drink and why do you like it? Coffee. Drink coffee, chocolate, chocolate. I like, no, I uh, like soda, milk. Milk. Why do you like milk? Because it's very nice. It's very nice and healthy. Okay. <laughs> Next. Yes. And so these are some things we can eat. Look at the picture. Are these healthy or good for the body or unhealthy? Healthy or unhealthy? Healthy. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Because are oily food okay these are oily food okay next look at the girl in the first picture where is she having lunch describe the picture please mm -hmm. okay my turn in the picture, the girl is having lunch at home with her mom. Your turn. Describe picture two. I have lunch 
in the at the school with my friends. Okay, so they're having lunch at school with friends and classmates. Okay, at home, at school. Okay, next. So this is about favorite food. And since I already asked you about your favorite food, just tell me why do you like chicken? Why do you like chicken? Any reasons? How often do you eat chicken? I eat two a week. Oh, twice a week. Yes, twice, twice. a week. Okay. <laughs> Now it's time for the story. So as you can see, we need to story tell using the picture, okay? Let's answer what they are doing. Where are they? And what happened next? Okay, my turn. I think they are a family and they are by the river is that a river what do you think mm. is that yes, a river I'm okay. Too. okay now your turn tell me what they are doing they are who mm. mom and Mom and Dad are. What are they doing? Um. Mm -hmm. Do you know what they're doing? What's that? Um, they are grilling. Grilling. Okay. This is grill. A grill. Okay. Yes, grilling. grilling. <laughs> How about the children? The children are. The children are fishing. Fishing. And then what happened next? What happened next in the picture? The boys. Caught, boys. caught a fish. Fish, yes. And the girl, what did the girl do? What did the girl do? What did the girl? Do? Where did she go? Mm, she go to the dad and mom. Yes, she went to her parents. To say what? Can you make a guess? What did she say? Mom, mom. No. Okay, look. Mom, look. Uh -huh. Brother is has fishing caught the cat. Caught the cat. Has caught a fish. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But look at the third picture. What did he catch? A shoe. Yes, now say it in a complete sentence. But the boy caught a 
Ice cream. Caught a. Cost a sock. I'm sorry, shoe. Yes, a shoe. Okay, and look at the girl's reaction. Mm, she oh, laughed. Oh, yes, she laughed because. Because in the shoe has two small feet. Yes, very good. And so, where are we? Okay, so we can't finish the lesson, dear. We already reached the mark. So, we will continue the story on our next meeting. Okay? And so, today, we learned how to describe the differences in the picture. And then how to tell a story just by looking at the picture. And what else? Oh, we learned how to answer or answer in daily conversations. Do you have any questions about the lesson now? Do you have questions? No. <laughs> okay, okay. That would be all for today, dear. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>